Osolia Barabas, European Molecular Biology Laboratory. Structure-based design for the advancement of transposon-based genetic engineering tools. The case of Sleeping Beauty. So I want to tell you about uh, transposons in the next three minutes and uh, our approach is how we use structure-based design to advance um, genetic engineering tools. So, um, so transposons are natural gene mobilizing vehicles that can autonomously move from one location in the genome to another. Um, they also provide very useful genetic engineering tools where in contrast to um, designer nucleases like the CRISPR-Cas system, they actually uh, pro uh, can very efficiently integrate the genetic cargo in a new genomic uh, location. So one prime example uh, is the Sleeping Beauty transposon that uh, is originally derived from Frisch, but it uh, can very efficiently work in a large range of vertebrate species. And uh, <clears throat> it has pioneered applications of transposons in uh, many uh, different uh, genetic applications from uh, forward genetic screens for cancer genomics to gene therapy like CAR T cell engineering. So, however, the mechanism and the structure of the Sleeping Beauty transposon is not known. So, therefore, to change this, we have uh, crystallized the, and solved the structure of the catalytic domain of the Sleeping Beauty transposes, that is the workhorse of transposition. We use this structure to reconstitute the entire transposition uh, machinery, including transposon DNA and target DNA as well. So. Um, Based on uh, this structure, we were able to explain previously identified hyperactive mutations in the transposes. For example, what you see on the on the left bottom left corner is a uh, or right for you is uh, is the four amino acids that stabilize the target binding site for uh, for binding of the target DNA and uh, thereby enhance target uh, um, affinity greatly increasing integration efficiency of the transposon. So based on these insights, uh, we next aimed to create new hyperactive variants by uh, introducing uh, mutations into the target DNA binding site. And uh, many of the mutations that we did uh, comfortingly reduced transposition <coughs> efficiency because so thereby validating our model uh, that loss of, of target binding will uh, reduce integration efficiency. But we also were able to, to find two hyperactive mutations. So, so our structural data basically helps us begin to understand the reasons behind transposes hyperactivity and also allowed us to design uh, novel hyperactive variants which we continue to pursue in our lab. Uh, for more further advanced variants. So, thank you for your attention. <laughs>